that shit on her own body You my bitch, I can't show you with nobody Hey y'all, um, I'm a little under the weather right now, so excuse the last sound. But starting off, I'm going in with the Got To Be Glue in the black bottle. And right now I'm just brushing back all of my little baby hairs and my edges. Um, You do want to make sure you're brushing back your edges and you're blow drying them. That way when you go to apply the glue, none of your baby hairs is for Um, Having a good lace install is started with a good foundation so if you have hair i recommend putting anywhere between 6 to 12 braids in it if not if you have short hair just mold your hair back really good but now i'm going in with the cap and i'm going to cut out my ear tabs you have to cut out your ear tabs that way your install lays flat and when it's time to put the glue on your cap does not lift so going back in with the same got to be glue um i'm just putting it all across my hairline and depending on what type of hairline you have, like, you have to customize it to your hair type. And what I mean by that is as I'm going in with that glue, you see that I'm putting it a little bit on top of my hairline, but also on my forehead. That way, when I go to install the actual lace, it's, it's sitting proper and it's in good placement. And when I mean good placement, it's not all by my head, I mean my eyebrows, and it's not sitting on top of my direct edges. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, so I'm just going in with the glue still, and I'm getting the ear tabs to make sure that the glue is there so when it's time to dry like I said the cap it doesn't lift and I do blow dry my cap from anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes on hot like you need your cap to be stiff hard not tacky not gluey gooey stiff and now I'm just going in and I'm cutting off the excess of the cap where um the glue is not added and I'm just like going in and I'm just you know making it look like a ball cap and yeah so now I'm going in with the Ruby Kisses foundation. Um, I'm going to take the shade that like matches my skin the most. And I'm just going to apply that on top of the cap to give it more like the bald effect. And if you're like a brown skin or dark skin woman, I actually recommend using foundation. Because that brand is kind of like for more of the lighter types. Like that personally, I really should have used my foundation because it's still a little too light. But um, yeah, so I went in with the EBN spray and I just put that on top of the cap. And as y'all can see, I'm pushing my nail on it just to like lay it flat real good. And I blow dried it till it was stiff. And going in with a cotton ball and alcohol, I'm just wiping off all of the excess glue or makeup. And this is the wig, y'all. It did not come like this. Um, I did color it. So if you want to see more videos on how I color bleach knots or pluck, um, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification on. Because I do want to get um, more consistent on my YouTube channel and really start, you know, showing my gifts and talents and helping you guys out. But now I'm just taking the hot comb and I'm just um, flattening it out and seeing what type of, um, you know, part I'm going to do. And I'm going to do a bust down. And so right here, I'm just cutting out my ear tabs, depending on the size of the actual wig itself and your hairline. Some, it fits perfect. Like this one, it was kind of like spot on. But some wigs that I've ordered, I had to cut off a little bit more than usual. And so if your hair size is a little bit smaller and the lace is big, don't be intimidated by it. Just carve out your ears. As you can see, I'm just taking a comb and I'm carving out my ears and all of the hair that was sitting on top of it. I just cut it off. That way it sits perfect. So when I put the glue down, it lays really good. So don't be scared, y'all, but also pay close attention to that because if you cut off too much, it's fucked. But yeah. This wig did have a thick um, hairline density, so I did go in and pluck some more, but right now I'm just pushing it back. Um, and I took out the edges that I'm going to be cutting off because when customizing a wig, you have to make it mimic your real hairline. That's what gives, you know, a lace like, damn, that looks like your real hair type stuff. But now I'm just going with the Erica J, um, hold me down adhesive and I did three layers and I am using a popsicle stick just to evenly flatten it all out and blow dry it. You do want it to be tacky. That way the tackness of the glue can lay really good with the lace material and it will give it a melted effect after it's done blow drying. And the concealer y'all see me outline i don't recommend doing that but i just put that in there for beginners um in case you need to see where you need to place the glue at that way when you do lay the lace it gives you a better guidance so i recommend that if you are a beginner um and so that's what it looked like when i laid it um laid the lace down on the glue and i'm just pressing it all in going in with my little wrap band and i'm going to sit under the blow dryer first i blow dry it for like three to five minutes but then i sat under my actual little bag blow dryer y'all my blow dryer it broke i'm gonna get a new one don't talk about me but yeah so i'm sitting under this bag blow dryer that my mama bought me for like twenty dollars and y'all that little aluminum plastic bag is hot but um yeah so i'm just adjusting it and i actually did adjust it and sat under there for 15 minutes um that way it wasn't 
you know, too uncomfortable. But I'm just taking it off now. And, y'all, it's melted. The glue, it melted in perfectly. Like, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, so I'm just taking a hot comb. Um, a hot comb is going to be your best friend. So, if you don't have a hot comb, I definitely recommend investing into one. Because it just helps the installs be, like, real, you know, <laughs> flat. It makes it look, you know, natural. So, I just cut out, like, four ear tabs. And I'm taking scissors. And I'm also taking, like, a little razor. And I'm just going to be cutting it off. You do want to cut in zigzag motion. You don't want a straight cut. Because if you do a straight cut, then people is going to be able to see, like, oh, where the lace at. If you do the zigzag zigzag method, excuse me, it gives more of an illusion. So, like I said, I'm going in with the scissors to, like, get it started. And then I go in with the razor to just, like, you know, give it the actual real zigzag look. And as y'all see, it's coming together. And so you do want to get as closely as possible um, to your hairline and cut off all of that excess lace. Um, so it can like really give like a natural, you know, so it can mimic your natural like hairline. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to clean it up right now and just clean up off the makeup. And that's what I mean when I said earlier about when I trace the concealer over for beginners. But I really don't recommend doing that because it do you leave like um a cast around, you know, where that where I use the concealer at to trace it out to help like with the placement but I really can eyeball it and it'd be better because you know I sat under the blow dryer for like 15 minutes and took it off and it still kind of was you see where I put that concealer at and usually like I don't use it so it have been like melted in a little bit more you know good that's why I had to go up close I'm not tripping but I'm like you know it's okay I still rock with it and you know finesse it but what we're going to do is take some foundation and my skin cup skin complexion and i just put that on top of the lace to you know just help it look a little bit more melted and blended in um and right now i'm just fixing my middle part because like i said we're doing a bust down and i noticed that the wig is like really really thick so i just went in and i started plucking the hairline real good on both sides and this helps give your wig like look like your scalp type stuff so when i mean plucking your um part you are taking all the little hairs because if you look closely there's hairs in the middle of it and you just is plucking all of the hairs that's sitting on top of the middle part that way you know it looks more spaced out and not all bunched up together y'all i hope this is making sense to y'all if it's making sense hit the, hit the like button leave a comment or something but this is what it looked like after um it's all blow dried and um you know, that looks a little bit good. That looks, like, real good. And right now, I'm just taking some mousse and I'm brushing back the pieces of hair that I'm not going to be using for the edges. And I'm just doing, like, U-shapes and I'm carving out um, my baby hairs. If you're one of the girls that like natural baby hairs, um, I recommend all you have to do is, just like, just do the two on each side. The sideburn and just your swoop. But I was going for, like, a dramatic look, so... You know, I did put a middle piece out, and like I said, I'm just doing the U curve, U curves, and yeah, using the mousse, brushing it back. Like, don't be scared, y'all. Like, you have to when you get your wig, you have to know like I'm in control and I'ma dominate it. Cause if you let the wig get to you, it's gonna get to you. To where you gonna throw a thin, like I can't do it, and you just gonna give up. But don't take control over it. Understand the vision you're going for, whether you're for a side part, middle part, dramatic edges, natural edges, and just execute it. Like, tell yourself you're going to execute it and execute it. It might seem, you know, challenging, but you have to trust the process. But right now, I'm cutting off the, I'm cutting the baby hairs. And I also always recommend cutting off a little bit more than um, usual because once you cut them, girl, they can't grow back. So I recommend cutting them a little bit bigger or a little bit longer. That way, if it is too long, you could just go in and cut instead of cutting them too short and it's fucked. So now I'm just taking my little curlers and I'm curling the baby hairs um, downwards. I don't know why I curled that up, but curl it downwards. And I'm, right now I'm just taking my little edge control brush and I'm combing them out. So before you put any product on, you see I cut it. That's what I mean, you know, making them longer. But right now I'm just um, taking an edge control brush and I'm just combing them all out. So my edges can go in the formation that I want them to swoop in before I even put the product on. So I definitely, definitely recommend combing them out first so you can see like, you know, how it's going to swoop. And you can already get them in the formation. And so I just took the Nairobi uh, wrap and the Got To Be spray in the yellow bottle. And I just put that on, you know, the baby hairs. I put the Got To Be on the baby hairs first to, like, get them to lay down. And I'm just taking the wrap mousse. And I'm just, you know, putting it on and, you know, 
that's it's pretty self-explanatory but like i said y'all don't get scared don't get intimidated understand the vision and execute it so yeah and like right there it was still too much went back in and cut it and you know i'm just swooping you gotta you know you gotta understand the vision and so I'm just taking the mousse and I am just swooping them on up. Um, y'all, when you first start doing your edges, it's going to be like low key scary because the way it's not gonna lay down automatically on the first time you put the mousse down. So you have to keep going in and fingering. Oh, not fingering it, but like you just gotta keep pressing it down, laying it down, swooping it, pressing it down, laying it down to your liking. And like I said, that middle part was bugging me because I'm like, hold on, it's not coming together how I like it. So. I just went on the left side and I poured a little bit more hair out um, and cut it and curled it just to make it like, you know, according to my liking. And I liked it because when you're doing edges, you know, it's about placement and what looks good on your head. Like what looks good on my head might not look good on your head. So you have to cut it and, you know, shape them according to your forehead and, you know, the look that looks right on you. Okay, so I just went in and I put in some little layers. I could have did like, um, you know, made them like more dramatic with the layers, but I would just wanted something simple. And yeah, so this is what it looked like when it's all off. I'm just brushing them out to make them look a little bit more soft. And y'all, they look good. Like, you know, compared to where we first started, I was scared, but I'm telling you, trust the pro process. And I did blow dry my edges on cool for like 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, and it was late at night, so I really wasn't trying to do no, like, your real cute curls. I was trying to do, like, some bad curls. Um, so I was just going in and just doing some little BS curls, but <laughs> yeah, it was it still came out cute. But y'all, that's pretty much the end of, of this video. Um, I did go in the middle part and take some concealer and touch it up, um, just to give it, like, that more, you know, scalpy effect. And yeah, I'm gonna shut up. The, it's pretty much over, so I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the end of it. But like I said, if you want to purchase this wig or any of the tools that I used in this video, check out the description below. And it will give you direct links um, if you want to purchase this wig. Or I got other wigs in my Amazon storefront. Um, so if you want to check them out too, you know, check them out. See which one you like. And like I said, y'all, practice makes perfect. And don't give up. Like, if you want to just start doing your own hair or do other people's hair, like, don't give up it takes practice um i definitely recommend practicing on yourself first that's how i started it but the video is pretty much over and like i said thank y'all for watching and i love y'all so much and if you enjoyed it please make sure you like comment turn on your bell notifications so you can get alerted anytime i post um makeup tutorials or hair videos and i hope to see y'all in my next video mm -hmm. Coming from the trenches, you know that I'ma get it Better for sure but don't buy Fuck that nigga and all his lies I don't got the time, bitch I'm on my grind I'ma run it up, no I never give a fuck Bitch I'm on my prime, so that nigga please don't hit my line Little stupid bitch, yeah, you always waste your time, yeah I ain't got no competition, bitch I'm all on our position If they really want it, send them on it, yeah Know some niggas ain't never told, know some niggas ain't Never fall. All these niggas wanna hit it, but none of them can't ever get it. I even made bosses, no niggas know that you lost.